This remake brings back scary Freddy Krueger, dream demon that lives in the nightmares of the children of the people who killed him. Pros. Scary Freddy is back. Oh my god, y'all. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. I love Scary Freddy. It makes me angry when people love his jokes from the 80s. Honestly, they are not funny. They're not cool. Even back then, it's like, no, please just, please just be scary. There is actual reasonable doubt on if Freddy is guilty or not. And I think that makes a more interesting story. And it's kind of a cool twist to put on it. The CGI is actually not terrible. Uh, for example, Freddy's face, we actually get something that looks exactly like a burn victim instead of, you know, a pizza. Cons. It's not their fault, but we've we've seen this movie before and it happens to all remakes and reboots. It's just we know what's going to happen, so there's not really too much left to the imagination. The CGI is not great at times, but you know, it's CGI. It feels dated. It's very, very 2000s. And this, this came out in 2010, so it's kind of at the end of it, but still very 2000s. I mean, everything from the music, the actor's clothing and the acting style, the colors of the film itself, it just feels very 2010. My favorite part is Jackie Earl Haley, who of course plays Freddy. Y'all may know him as Rorschach from The Watchmen, and I think if ever, anyone besides Robert Englund can play Freddy Krueger, it would be him, Jackie Earl Haley. I think it was very scary and very threatening. Overall, I'm probably one of the only people who liked this film, so much so that I put it at number two in the entire uh, Nightmare on Elm Street series, right after the original. So it's the original in 1984, and then this remake in 2010. And then honestly, for me, we can just forget about the rest of them, but that's neither here nor there. I, I appreciate horror going back to the scary stuff and not just making jokes on itself. So I'm, I'm actually really impressed by this remake here. So if you're not all fanboyed out for Robert England and 80 slashers, um, I think you should give this a try. Like try to be open-minded and you'll most likely find at least one thing that you like. So yes, I'd recommend it.